Hey, hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your boy Sam Hishop here, kicking it right here in the headquarters. We have a special show for y'all tonight, special edi uh, edition show. This is not our normal Monday night, but that's all good. We can praise God any day of the week. So we're going to go live here in a, in a couple of seconds here. Let me get my countdown ready. All right. Going live in three, two, one. Tuned in to above all I show Giving the scoop and the latest on how the story goes Broadcasting from Vegas in case you didn't know Worldwide Great Commission, that's the gospel Discussing topics and standards, righteous living Buffing them bangers and interviewing different Christians Who, Who's hot? Who's not? Does it really matter? It's his hop, non-stop, focus on the ladder Stay tuned to the dial and turn that volume up This faith radio, Jesus is who we living up So in your ears, we gon' be here for a minute It's my bro D-Roll, he bout to go with it Hey, what's up, y'all? What's going on? This is your boy Sam His Hop kicking it here in the headquarters. Oh, yeah, you know, I gotta let that freedom drop. It's not Monday night, but that's okay. This is a special show we are doing tonight. We have a, a special guest that traveled to be with us tonight, so we wanted to show him some love right here in the spot. The His Hop Headquarters Club, His Hop Las Vegas. We are located at 3945 East Patrick Lane. Once again, that's 3945 East Patrick Lane, Las Vegas, Nevada, Unit D. So come on out. Every second Saturday of the month, we got something going down. We actually have the Big Break Talent Search. And I have a, 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 a treat for you guys. The actual host of that show, he'll be with us tonight. But before we get to that, I want to remind everybody to download our app. We have an app, but we want you to download it. That way you can take us everywhere you go. And our promise to you is to keep you in the mind of Christ. Wherever you're at work, you can play us. You can stream us. Go to our website, hishopnation.com. Play us on your desktop, your laptop, or if you're out working out, jogging, play the app and keep us in your ear, y'all. And we are located in Las Vegas. We are right off the strip. But you know we outshine every light on the strip because we're shining the light of Christ. Yes, we are, y'all. And so right now, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my co-host online, who's gonna be holding it down with me tonight. We call him Frank the Tank. Yeah. Frank, what's going on, brother? How you, How you doing? doing? Tonight? Uh, pretty good. This is uh, Frank the Tank. Uh, I am the host of the. Club His Hop Big Break Talent Search. Uh, definitely, we are here uh, enjoying ourselves because we had uh, a guest here in the in the studio. Uh, please welcome to the Hip Hop Move His Hop Move. Excuse me. Um, if you like, I go ahead. I'll go ahead and introduce him. If, if that's all right. Yeah, with give you. us a little taste of how you all do right. it uh, when you're hosting uh, the talent, the Big Break Talent Search. All right, here we go, ladies taste. and gentlemen. <laughs> all the way from Santa Clarita. Five foot ten, two hundred pounds, Mr. Michael Anderson Jr. <laughs> there you go, brother. There you go. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, yes, yes, yes. How y'all doing out there? How you doing, brother? How you doing, man? I'm, I'm blessed and highly favored. I just thank God that, you know, I got this time to be here with you guys, uh, with family, you know, because we all one body, so. Yes, sir. Yes, family, sir. Just a... Uh, you know, meet you guys. God is introducing me to some some good people. So uh, praise God, praise man. God. All right, praise God. I appreciate that. Thanks for coming out, man. You um, where'd you come from? Look, share every share with everybody um your hometown and where you come from and all that. Uh, my hometown. I was um you know born and raised in Pacoima, California, and um. I'm now residing in Santa Clarita, California, what most people would know it as the um, Valencia area, Canyon Country area. Oh, um, wow. Like, um, right uh, close to Palmdale, Lancaster, like that. Oh, okay. 
Okay, I heard of Lancaster. Yeah. I just, I never heard of Santa Clarita. I'm like 30 minutes from Lancaster. Oh, 30 minutes? Yeah, 30 okay. Minutes, yeah. Cool, man. Well, welcome to Vegas. You ever been to Vegas before? Oh, yes. Plenty of times. Plenty, plenty of times. times. Okay. So, yeah, here, uh, you're going to get you some turkey, right? Some, some turkey tomorrow? I hope so. <laughs> We're staying in the hotel. We're not doing no cooking, but my son is out here. He's um, playing a turkey bowl. Uh, oh, wow. Football. Is he? Mm-hmm. So. Okay. Uh, what 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 position does he play? He plays uh, D tackle, offensive tackle. So. All right, I got some I got some I got some information for him then. Yeah, that's what I did. I did that that D line. I'm tell you, I'm gonna show you how to do a real swim move. <laughs> you, don't need, you don't need to do. You no, talking about your son right here? Mm-hmm. Oh wow, okay. You don't need to cool. do no rush. You don't need to do no rip move. I'm gonna teach you the the, the Michael Strahan swim move. <laughs> You'll be getting sacks every game. Come on now, Frank that. the Tank. You Come on that. now. Sack, sacks every game. All right. He'll be running the ball this this game too. So. Oh, okay. So Mike, man, share with us a little bit of your music background before we get to to some music. Um, I started uh, pursuing the music at 13. Uh huh. Um, recorded a lot of songs. Um, I worked with you know Death Row Records. Um, you did, to, Death Row. Come on. With Shug and. Danny Should. Boy, ah. and, you know, and I, I work with a lot of artists, DJ Quick, you know, uh, P.D. Pablo, Corrupt, you know, I wrote songs for Corrupt, um, um, I just did a lot of music, I was a writer, I was an artist, then turned into a writer, and then uh, back to an artist. Okay, alright, alright, hold on, I, I want our listeners to know this real quick, you know, because we're connected on social media and everything, right. but today in this show is the first day we actually had a chance to meet, right? And I didn't get a bio, I didn't get an EPK, I really didn't get his information. So I'm hearing this for the first time, you right, know, just right. just like with everybody else. And so, wow, wow, Death Row, man. I just got done seeing um, the Tupac movie. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So were you around when all that was happening? I, was, I wasn't around at that, at that particular time. I came um, a few, I'm going to say about a year later. I came um, Danny Boy. Danny Boy, he okay. married into the family. Um, okay. So he's he's my brother. I love him. Uh, you know, and he's uh, doing gospel music as well. Uh, but Danny Boy, he's a really dope artist. Y'all should check him out on YouTube, Facebook. But he can sing. That boy can sing. Um, he the one that did the All Eyes on All I Um I Ain't Mad at You song. Oh. He's, you know, he's doing it. He's doing it for God now. So. Uh, <coughs> oh. Wow. Dope. Dope. All right, man, you gotta. Tell us that transition. How do you go from being on death row to doing it for Jesus, man? We got to hear that story, brother. We got to hear that journey. Well, what happened was um, I went, I went, I went through death row. We made a lot of music over there, um, and then I left. When after I left death row, um, we I went to Universal Records. Okay. In, in 2009, I went to Universal Records. Okay. Too active Universal. And um, they said I signed with them for two years. They said my project is at the same time I signed. Drake signed at the same time. Wow. So he kind of took all the shine, you know. And and I know it was um, I know it was all in God's plan that I couldn't get to where I wanted to get to because I wasn't doing it for Him. Amen. And, you know, and then Amen. Um, and then I got married. I found my wife uh, that's sitting here now, Giselle. I got married, and um, I kind of did a little bit of music and you know I got used by a few people but with the music just that and having me write music I uh, uh, thought it was for myself but it was for other people and um, I kind of stopped doing music I kind of stopped doing music and I had this transition to where I was just doing truck driving and I was like okay. I'm done with the music you know but um you know God was like nah you know wow. I you got that talent I gave you that talent for a reason so it took like two years I just went into the Bible and I just kind of was building my relationship for him I didn't know why I was doing it but I was just doing it I just wanted to to be uh, a part of God's family and really get to know God and then after that two years God was like you know I want you to do an album you know that's the Holy Spirit I was sitting in my garage he said I want you to write 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 another album Wow and I wrote the first song and then a month later I got revival Wow, wow, okay. Man, you know what, that, that really encourages me. That really strengthens my faith to know that God is on the throne. Yes. You know what I mean? He's on the throne. He can grab anybody from anywhere, clean them up, dust them off, and use them and put them on the front lines. You know Amen. what I'm saying? Amen. So I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Yeah. Frank the Tank. Yeah, I, I was just going to send a quick shout out to some of these people watching uh, 
here on uh, Facebook Live. We got Sean Pounds. We got Maria Paul Anderson. We got Rufus Harrison. We got uh, Crimson Beretta. Uh, I'm not going to say what your real name is, but know that I know that you're watching. Um, <laughs> all right. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're definitely sitting here uh, about to go on this journey with this gentleman uh, and listen to some of his music. So uh, uh, whenever you are ready, sir. Yes, yes, we are ready. And what we have in the queue, uh, Prey featuring Mike, Mike Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Mike Good. Yep. Okay, tell us um, the inspiration behind this song, brother. Uh, this song, um, when I found my relationship with God, I've been, I became a, a prayer. I didn't know how to pray. I didn't know how to pray at all. Yeah. Um, I, I, I prayed, but it was minimal. You know, my words was minimal. I didn't know how to really address God until I read the Bible. And I'm like, okay, well, a prayer is just a conversation with God. So all mm -hmm. I need to do is just, just talk to God and just give him everything that I have in me. Yeah. And so, um, so this song is inspired by, by, by um, me becoming a prayer and just, you know, prayer changes things. It changes the atmosphere. Prayer is alive, you know, just like the word is alive. So I feel like we got to come together as God's people and, and pray, exactly. you know, come on yeah. one accord and pray. So this song is just telling people it's time to pray in, the, in these days now. And you know what? What I like about it, you know, there's three disciplines that Jesus really gave us. Mm -hmm. One was prayer, fasting, and giving. And giving. Uh, prayer is one of the hardest things to do, man. Once you got that down, you know, um, I always like to say, if you don't go to a praying church, you're just playing church. Playing church. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like so that. I like that. That's really encouraging, man. And um, Michael Anderson right here live on His Hot Radio with the song Pray. Check it out. Start today with so much going on. We got to pray, we headed for revival. Earthquakes and hurricanes, we headed for revival. In search for the better days, with so much weight on my shoulders, my soul's getting older. Knees trying to buckle, this weight I got to hold up. Trying to stay alive, I will not quit. Hands holding grip, praying not to slip like, uh. I had to change my life. I finally saw the light in the midst of shining bright. Who would have thought that it could be like this? When your heart was empty from the pain that inflict. I ain't lying, I just told myself to keep on trying. Mama in the kitchen crying with the fish grease frying. There's a reason why I was picked to live. For that very same reason, I ain't living to die. And this is why God gave me a vision. I see myself speaking to people when as they listen I'm giving them the truth cause the truth is what they missing Now listen to the hook cause that's the mission It's time to pray like we ain't prayed before Let's start today There's so much going on We got to pray I'm not a doc, oh, yeah. and I don't pray to the sun, don't worship rocks, uh -uh. I put my trust in the Lord, I call it stocks, yeah. my pops had an old school Lincoln on Vogue's, when he passed it down I took them off and put some D's on it for show, I turn my music up as loud as it go, I would push the block, the only time I turned it down was passing the cops, but when they left I turned it back up, West Coast rolling, patrolling, I'm riding slow through Pacoima, yes I would act up, I was something like a Mac cuz, I had a lot of women I'm sending, but the devil Keep telling me I was winning Yeah, and then my heart got tired The desires of the streets was no longer a desire My focus is only God, I gotta commit to Him Since He gave me the offer, all I can do is win, pray It's time to pray like we ain't prayed before Let's start today Let's start today With so much going on We got to pray, we ain't it for
And that's hot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is hot, bro. Yeah. What can you now? Frank, you're a singer, man. What was he doing? He was going crazy uh, on the vocals at the end. He was trying. He was trying. <laughs> he was like, woo. Trying to hit the little high notes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my brother, Gifted. Okay. Gifted? Yeah, Fred, Fred Hammond. Um, he's out of sound creator, too. But, yeah, he's he's mostly on all my songs. Like, every song that I've recorded, um, when, when I was connected back with him, he uh -huh. was most of them. Wow, wow. See what I, I like that driving rhythm, that dun dun oh, yeah. dun dun. I mean yeah. that's that's catchy. You put that in the car and you just roll. <laughs> All right, now I got a question. I got a question. Um you mentioned you keep mentioning the revival in the uh in the songs, uh like in the hook going now. Um what was your inspiration for, for naming the this project Revival? because um, when I went through that two year period, you know, I came from, you know, the dark side. And I feel like that two-year period, I, that you know, the word is life. So that two-year period, it gave me life. It gave me Amen. life to just reading that Bible. And I felt like after that two-year boot camp, I was revived, you know. So, yeah. And that was the first thing that the Holy Spirit, when I was thinking about names, the only name that I could think of was revival. So I knew that that was the title for the album. All right, all right. Uh, I spoke with a gentleman a uh, long time ago uh, who used to... Um, he got saved. He uh, used to sell drugs. He used to do it all, uh, as you say, like on the dark side. And when he uh, was saved and, and came to the to light and became a minister and whatnot, uh, I remember one thing he said was that his best day on the other side still wasn't as good as his worst day living for Christ. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? And I, I really believe that. Uh, now, you get your applause for that. Oh, okay, okay, good, good. Frank is like, right. this is the first time he calls with me tonight, so he's like, he's learning all what? the new stuff. It's like, what's going on? Uh, Looks like we got somebody else, uh, yeah. Michael Anderson Sr. saying, uh, "Proud of your son." He's also said, "Your mom, uncle, and sisters are proud of you." And then he said, "David said he's proud of you as well." So <laughs> these are, love you, family. They all the way in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, okay. Oh, the ATL. We yeah, got ATL. a lot of love. Yeah. Tell them we're gonna give them a hand cap, clap. Thank y'all for tuning in and showing support. Appreciate it. I, I do want to say this, man, because you know you got your family here with you tonight. Uh, you got your son. He's like the cameraman. You got family tuning in. It, it, it really seems like you have a support system, and it's really, really important, especially today, to have that support behind you, man. Family and friends. You know what I mean? How did you get that? How did you cultivate that? That's not easy to do. Um, my, my family, since since the beginning, since birth. Um, my family was always tight. You know, I've never, I've never, I can't remember just seeing arguments in the house. Yeah. You know, it was always love. You know, even my dad coming back from a, a wicked path, he was he was a heroin addict and did drugs. He never, he never hit us. He, it was, it was just love in the house. You know, and they, my, my parents been together forever, mm -hmm. and my, me and my wife is like that now. It's love in the house. You know, you get into a few little arguments yeah. every now and then, but it's nothing big. It's nothing major. It's nothing to say. Oh, I want a divorce about because that's not an option. Right. You know what I mean? So, so it's just love. And if the family don't support you, then the world won't support you. You know. So wow. it, um, it starts with the family first. So wow. that's why I, you know, when people see me, they see my family. You know, they see. And if my wife is at home, they see me with my kids. You know, because that's, that's, dope. that's just who I am. I'm a family man. First. That's dope. That's dope. And that's that's really a blessing, because uh, not everybody has you know their family backing them. Not everyone has the support of their you know their friends, and you know, and it it can be hectic in the household. It can be hectic, um, you know, when dealing with some family members that have issues like that. Uh, and yeah, for you to be able to say that. It was always love, cause it, it ain't never, it ain't always smooth. Right. But mm -hmm. it, the love is what what gets you through it, and the support is what you know is what helps get you through tough times. Oh uh, yeah. And I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and go there. I'm gonna go ahead and go there, man. It's really, it's rare to see that in the black family. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. it's, it's refreshing to see a strong black family together. You know what I mean? Because we don't see that too often. Mm -hmm. You know, sad to say. And no, this is not a, a black power statement, but it's a true statement. You know what I mean? Because I believe that Christ can heal and strengthen the family. And I believe that the black community, the black family 
has suffered most out of all other ethnic groups. You know what I mean? Um, it's hard for us to support each other. You know what I mean? You see a black owned business and you see a business of someone else with a different ethnic background. We'll go to that business before we go to the black owned business, you know? And that's something that we should really work on, you know, as a people. And you know, and, 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 I, and I feel that way too because it's like that now, even with Revival, um, when I go out, you know, and, and to sell CDs or something like that, you know, because you know you got to promote yourself you know yeah, god is yeah. going to do his work but you got to do, do work, your work, work exactly yeah. i would go out and promote myself and i see that it's other it's other races supporting what i do and my people are like oh, i ain't got it right you know what i mean and it's like it's okay yeah. it's yeah. okay but it's like wow we you know are they want a discount or something like that you know so i had to i had to do that with myself i said you know what when i go into a black owned store i got to stop asking for discounts and just pay what they want for it because Amen. how are they going to you can't go to walmart and ask them for a discount i know huh you know what i'm right. saying right. so why <laughs> we don't we, even think to do that right, you know what i mean right 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 so it's like you know if we're going to support our people and try to try to build our people up then we got to support you know so amen amen i'm with that Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to some music. Yes, sir. The next song in the queue is called Get Lost featuring K Young. Tell us about this cut. Um, that, that song, it was inspired by when I was writing the album. And actually, when I was, before I even started writing the album, when I was just um, going into uh, my walk with God, I used to promote God on Facebook all day that's what nice. i would do promote god every verse that i word if it was appealing to me i put it on facebook and people would call me that i knew from back in the day jesus ain't real you know he you he he's not real and all this stuff and i'm like whoa whoa oh, people saw it, you know so so this this i wrote this song for the people that you know that don't think <laughs> oh wow. wow it's called get lost oh wow man okay i can't wait to hear this cut okay y'all Get lost right here live on His Hot Radio. I got my man Michael Anderson Jr. in the house. Uh, we're going to open up the phone lines a little bit later, so please do not go anywhere. You don't want to miss none of this. This is a hot show tonight, a, a, a blessing, man, a, a, a pleasant surprise. So get lost right here with my man Michael Anderson featuring K. Young. Talking about Jesus ain't real, I'ma tell him get lost, get lost Saying he ain't down the cross and came alive on the third day Then please get lost, get lost Anybody coming to me, talking about Jesus ain't real I'ma tell him get lost, get lost Saying he ain't down the cross and came alive on the third day Then please get lost, get lost yeah. Anybody coming to me, stop, you better think about it I've been in the presence of the Lord I've been reading my Bible, the word is my sword Been put to the test, but I passed God erased my past, the devil he mad I turn from my back, I'm walking in victory now Shout at the king, so I'm royalty now And you can't do nothing to harm me I'm living forever in heaven It's better than living forever in hell Think of the smell, the torture is real The burning is real, it's something you feel Forever and ever and ever No one can get used to God Deliver the message through rhyme To let you know Jesus is on his way back in fact, I walk in his will. I turn from my sins. I picked up the Bible. That's where it began. Now I'm in him. I finally can win. I lost a few friends, but that doesn't matter. The only thing matter is I'm getting better before. My God come, I'm spreading the word to the lost. I die for his sake. It's whatever the cause. False prophets come up to me. I'ma tell them to you. Don't come around me, oh. I don't need, need, need ya. I don't mean to be I swear that's what I really mean whoa, whoa, whoa. So if you ain't a believer I hope you are for your leave here Cause tomorrow's never promised I'm only trying to be honest with you So it's too late to be modest Just give your life to God And start having faith in His promise hey, Anybody coming to me talking whoa, about Jesus ain't real I'ma tell them get lost, get lost Ooh, Say he ain't down the cross and came alive on the third day Get lost. Anybody coming to me talking about Jesus ain't real? I'ma tell him get lost, get lost. Saying he ain't down the cross and came alive on the third day. And please get lost, get lost.
Nice, nice. Yeah. Man, you got some hot stuff, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I love the message, man. Get lost. You talking about Jesus ain't real? Get lost. I ain't got time to talk about that. Get lost. Right, right, right. <laughs> I like the fact that you mention hell in your song. You know what I mean? Uh, you go to some uh, churches, some ministries, they don't want to talk about topics like this. Hell, repentance, the blood of Jesus. Some people, they just want to go to some services and they just want to get tickled in their ear. They want to be blessed and pat on the back. And I, I, I like that. And I, I know there's a balance. I know we can't uh, talk about hell all the time, you know, fire and brimstone. And, you know, because we do have to talk about the love of God. God loves people. Mm -hmm. It's the love of Christ that compels us. It's God's love that's going to draw people in. But my question to you is, how do you think we're going to win this generation, man? Because... People nowadays, they really are not trying to hear that. Um, I, I think it's just being real with them, you know. In that two-year span that I was going through, um, I, I cut hair at, at the house. And I have people coming, these uh, youngsters coming all day, and I just talk to them about God. And, you know, I get I get so many of them saying, Mike, you know, I wanna, I've never heard it the way you gave it to me. I want to give my life to God, uh -huh. you know, and it's like, God, God was preparing me to reach them, and that and this music is gonna reach them because if you go through the album, the beats are slapping. It's, it's, it sound like the beats from you Come know, on. the worldly music, but it's just got a message to it, you know. And I'm and I'm just giving it the way I know how, the way God gave it to me. And I feel like we gotta reach them. You can't go and reach the youngsters with a suit and a tie on. With yeah. a clergy on, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. They don't look at you like this is a joke. Yeah. If I yeah. come to them with the Chuck Taylors on and the sweatsuit, telling them, man, I'm I'm doing this for God, they're gonna be like, man, this dude's happy. It's I want to I want to know what he's doing. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So I got the the brim on, you know, yeah. the Chuck Taylors on. Yeah. Hey, I'm I'm I'm, I'm revival. I'm I'm living for God. Come on. You know? Let me show you how you can do this too, because when you're living for God, you're on a different system. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? The world can't give you nothing uh -huh. because God will give you everything. He promised it in His Word, and His Word can't come back void. Wow, I'm you glad know? you said that. I'm glad you brought that up. And and you're right. It's cool to the fact that they feel like they can connect with you. They can relate to you. You look just like me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I can relate to you. I can listen to what you got to say. That's going to touch them more because some ministries, they don't want people who look like us in their church. Right. You right. know what I'm talking about? You know right. what I'm saying? They right. want us to... Go back out. Don't come through the door. You know, you might get the carpet dirty or something like that. Or they feel like, okay, this person is going to bring a lot of drama. This person's a thug. This person's, you know, they don't know. But God loves everybody. He everybody. wants to reach us all. You know, and a ministry like ours, you know, Club His Hop, you know, we get double takes. You know, people don't know how to handle us. They're like, what? What? Christian hip hop nightclub? You know, what are you guys doing over there? You know? But I love the fact that God is here. He's a, he's anointed our ministry, and he's using us to, uh, I guess you could say, to reach a people that have been forgotten or set aside. Right. You know what I mean? Right. The hip-hop generation has been rejected by society as a whole, you know. So I like the fact that you said that, um, how you dress and everything, and... Um, what you guys say, Frank the Tank? <clears throat> well, to to piggyback off of uh, Mr. D. Road over here, uh, I do agree. Um, you know, a lot of times we can uh, walk in these churches uh, and the people will look at you sideways uh, because you don't look like them, you know, because you don't walk in with a pair button-down shirt and uh, you know and penny loafers on uh, they all they automatically think you're not like them or that you don't um, that maybe the, you know you're not saved or something like that and then when you open your mouth you know and and you speak God's word and they kind of look at you like wait what like I didn't expect that to come out of his mouth Amen. You know, or, or <laughs> you know so it, 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 like I, I, it sounds, I, it's selfish, I guess, to me. But I like doing that to people. I like making them do double takes, uh, you know, it, because then you know you've 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 got a way in. You know, you're you're able to uh, reach them uh, or say something that you know they may actually take home with them, uh, because now you have their attention. You know, where before they kind of dismissed you, mm -hmm. and then when you said something, they were like, wait, 
what? Now they're paying attention. And that's when you can uh, really get them. And, that, and I think that's what a lot of this music is doing. Uh, it's, it's, it's really going to grab people's attention. Uh, you're talking about real things. Like when you were talking about uh, your mama praying in the kitchen while the, while the fish was frying, you know what I mean? Like that stuff, Amen. Real stuff. Amen. That's, that's real yeah. stuff, you know? So uh, it's, it, it definitely will reach out to the people I think that you really wanted to reach out to. For real, for real. <laughs> And I want to touch on something else you said. You said the the beats are hidden. It sounds just like what you're going to hear out in the secular world. You know what I mean? And it's going to have a powerful message. Now, you shared that you have a your background. You were with Death Row Records. You know, you were with you know DJ Quick and people like this. You know, some heavy oh, hitters right. and all that. And so you were on the secular side. Now you're doing it for Christ. Can you share with our listeners how real this battle is? I know you saw some dark things on that side, and, and I understand. Now, a lot of this I've just heard. I haven't really experienced myself, but I understand that there's a lot of Satan worship, and, and there's a lot of uh, sacrifices and a lot of things, a lot of demonic uh, activity on that side and people don't know that they're playing with with the devil they're playing with it with this this music industry and then share with us as Christian hip-hop artists you know how are we doing in this battle are we keeping to the call as far as holding up the light and assaulting the darkness or are we starting to compromise a little bit because we want the fame and the money and the stuff that they flash at us you know what I'm saying well, I think I think um, I think yeah, you're right. There is a lot of a lot of you know satanic stuff going on, it, and you got to understand this that 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 Satan he is the king of this. He is the king of earth. You know this is this is him. So everything that the Bible says don't do, Satan is gonna say do. Do, amen. You know uh -huh. so, and he was the music. He was the music man. Mm -hmm. He was the music man. So yeah. music is big here. But if you're doing it for if you're doing it for him, if you're doing it for Satan. Then he's gonna let you shine, if you're yeah. willing to if you're willing to to to, to sell go out. that way. If you're willing to sell out, uh -huh. you can be as big as Jay Z and Drake. Mm. But are you willing to sell your soul mm. for that? Are you willing to mm. risk right. e e e eternity in hell for that? Ooh, come on. Come I on. could I can't take that chance, and I'm glad that everything went with me the way it was planned because God already knew where I was gonna go. Amen. You know, and when I was doing the secular world. I was I was just like this. My music just stayed like at this thing, at that that flat line. Just uh -huh. it, I had great music, but uh -huh. it never can go like this. It never can go up. It'll just stay here. Okay. As soon as I did it for God, it's been a month. I, I got revival out. It's playing in 22 countries. Wow. It's on, on. it's on it's on um it's on um Apple Music, iTunes, 22 countries, streaming everywhere. Uh -huh. And it's my. It's going like this. Bam. Come on. It's going like this. And, I, and I'm not even working this. I'm not even working nearly as hard as I was when I was doing it for the world. Because I'm on that different system. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing it for God, he'll take you. But it's a lot of, like you said, compromising. It's a lot of, 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 of Christian artists that's compromising because they couldn't make it in that worldly market. So they said, let me try gospel. But they're not doing it doing it for God you know what I mean they're, yeah. they're doing it for the fame they're doing it for the money I mean God is gonna God is gonna pay us God is Come gonna on. pay us what we need to get whatever he deserve we gonna get right. he's gonna give it to us because that's what his word said he'll give us everything that we need amen you know and he give us amen. the desires of our heart my album is moving and all I'm doing is worshiping God and praising God and really being for him I, I hear some um, some Christian artists and they saying the n-word in their their music yeah yeah I yeah. couldn't put those two words together talking yeah. about God. You know what I mean? Right. So on. it's like, so it's like, I feel yeah, like yeah. my music right now is in its own lane because I feel like it's really, you know, doing it for God. It's not, it's not compromising. I'm not, you know, it's, it's a lot of people that want to work with me right now, but I, I won't work with them because I know that it's not on that same level. Amen. You know what I mean? It's, for me, it's all, everything's about God now. You know, after I, after that, that two years of in that word and reading that word, I always knew God, but I never was in love with God mm. until I read that word and I, I understand who God is now. Now I love him. You Praise see what I'm saying? God. The Hallelujah. whole time that I knew him, my dad is a pastor, and the whole yeah. time that I knew him, I never loved him like I do now. I thought oh, I loved wow. him, but I didn't. Now Come I love on. God. Yeah. Come you know, on. It's the difference. That's deep. 
It's different. That's deep. Yeah. And that's what he wants. He desires a love relationship with us. Not just an outward performance. You right. know what I mean? Not just doing it outwardly, man. That's wow, that's strong. That's right. That's that's man, man. That, that actually it ministers to me too. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's All really right. encouraging. Right. You know, and it, it's encouraging to see that no, you don't have to sell out. You don't have to compromise. You can go 100% for God. And a lot of people, what they don't understand, you know, in our ministry, you know, we have Sunday night services here. We, we teach verse by verse through the Bible. Mm. And that is the most important part. Even though we do music, we do radio, we do shows, you know, this and the other. The most important part is the word of God because people don't understand that God is a holy God. Mm -hmm. And people want to come up in the church with they sin. They want to slap they sin all over the place and don't even say nothing to them. Mm -hmm. It's like you know, you they look at you crazy. Like what are you talking about? You know? And I'm like, no, no. We have to live with without holiness. No one will see the Lord. If you belong to Him, everything that belongs to God is holy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey me. You know? And there's a lot of so-called Christians they're not living right they're just not living the holy life man and this is not to condemn anyone or say we're better than anyone or anything but you know we're teachers we're trying to teach you so you can know this holy God before you go before him in judgment and so that you can be ready get get into your word man I love it I'm a, I'm a word person my brother um Frank the Tank will tell you you know what I mean? I'm, we're constantly in the word. We break it down. We dissect it because I was hurt by a church. I was hurt by a pastor. I was following this man. I was following this pastor. And I was following this fellowship. And a lot of things that they were inputting into my life was not from the Bible. It was very legalistic, very strict, very controlling. They, wanna make, they wanted to make your decisions for you. When I discovered the word of God and realized that God can speak to me directly. Mm -hmm. And God didn't say half the stuff these people are telling me. Yeah. That changed. That was a whole new ball game for mm -hmm. me, bro. And so that's kind of like the fire behind even what I do here, you know, to teach the people, let them know, you know. Uh, All right. I want to I want to pay you back off something if we got time. Yeah, we got okay. time. Right. You, you said something about, you know, um, you know, going in church with your sin and stuff like that. I remember reading a verse and it was uh, I don't I don't remember the scripture, but it said um, something on that. How before you come to God in prayer, before you come to God, go 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 get rid of your differences between your brother. Or, Amen. And then it took me back to to Genesis when when Cain uh, killed Abel, when he said, "Look, go fix your problem with your brother. If you don't, sin is outside waiting for you." Yes. And as soon yes. as he did, he didn't fix his problem, and then he went outside before he fixed his problem and murdered his brother. Yes. You know, so yes. it's a lot of people. That you gotta get rid of, you know that that anger, that that yes. that whatever you got holding on in your heart, you gotta get rid of that. You gotta forgive people because if you don't, sin is gonna keep pushing at you, keep in Amen. your ear. Like you know that person did that, he did this. Remember this, remember that, remember that, and it's just gonna pull a toll on you. So for the listeners out there listening, you know, forgive, 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 forgive somebody that's done you wrong, and let them know that you love them, and let them know that you guys can move forward. For whatever happened in the past, walk in love. That's deep. Hey, love. And like that, that's you know that's real too. Um, now when they say you know when we when we talk about forgive, we actually mean um, you should actually know that you've forgiven the person. Mm -hmm. uh, and what I mean by that is, uh, I had a really bad uh, relationship um, with a girl about 20 years ago, and uh, like she did me dirty. Um, and then, uh, but I thought, I said I'd forgive her and, you know, and that everything was, you know, was fine. And, um, and I guess it was fine because I didn't see her. About 10 years later, she sent me a message because um, she was about to get married. And she was uh, uh, reconciling with all the people she felt that she had done wrong in her life. And when I saw that initial message, like, I got hot. Like I don't know, like my blood started boiling. So wow. I had said I'd forgiven her, yeah. and I really hadn't forgiven her, and I didn't yeah. even realize it until she sent that message like ten years later. And I really had to like take a step back because I'd been telling folk forgive people, forgive people, forgive people, you know, and then you're you're free and this and that. And then when I got that message, I realized I hadn't forgiven her, you know. So Amen. I, so I Amen. had to I had to really 
you know, bite down and, and, and you know, kind of um, rebuke myself. Amen. You know, so that I could forgive her for, you know, for what she did. So, um, you know, when, when you say you forgive somebody, you know, you really need to mean it. You really need to, you know, let it go. Uh, so, yeah. And, you know, sometimes it's a process. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I know I've given a lot of things to God and then they creep back up. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's almost like lifting weights. You know what I mean? You give it to God, it comes back, push it back to God, it comes back, push it back. Then all of a sudden you, you're growing some spiritual biceps. You know what I mean? You're getting stronger in the spirit and you're allowing God to clean your heart. And to operate in love. Our matter of fact, our last service, we were talking about loving your enemies. Yeah. This is something impossible for us to do. We just had one October. We just had this dude in Mandalay Bay mowing down people. You know what I mean? Killing people. Killed what? 60 people, uh, 59 people. Mm-hmm. And like, how are we going to have love for this man? You know, how can this be possible? Only by the supernatural work of the Holy Spirit. That's it. We can't do that in our human strength, you know. Okay. All right, so let's get back to some music. The next track we have is "Lion to the People." Tell us about this. Mm. <laughs> well, I just feel like um, I feel like Satan. It, you know, since this is his domain here, he's he's he has people. You know, it, even even some pastors, even some churches. You know, telling people false stuff. You know, and people get steered away from the church because they like, oh, that the church is corrupt and this, you know, this people just lying and all they want is money and money, money. But if you build your own relationship with God, the Holy Spirit will tell you, it'll te- the Holy Spirit will teach you the word as you read it. So you really need to just focus on God and stop letting Satan use you or use other people, you know, because you can watch, you can watch what say, somebody can tell you something and if you know the word, you like, that, I ain't never read that before, or right. that don't sound right, you right. know. Yeah, and, and you can tell when Satan is using somebody. You know, he's using a lot of people, people in the in the in the, in the music industry. Yeah. He's using them to lie yeah. to other people, to taking them as kids, you know, and uh, and bringing them up as child stars, and then flipping their whole being because they got so many followers now. So Satan is like, you know what? If I could use this kid mm-hmm. and bring and get a hundred thousand followers, and then turn them bad. I can take some of them people with me because they're going to follow that people. So he's out here. That's his job to lie. Wow. So he's out here just constantly lying to the people. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's get in it. Let's get into it. And after this cut, we're going to open up our phone lines. You can give your brother a shout out. There's a lot of activity on the social media feed. So we want y'all calling in and uh, showing some love. This is lying to the people. My boy, Michael Anderson Jr. right here live on his hop radio. When I was living in sin, I was dealing with the evil. I was trying to make a dollar spreading poison to my people. Living in the land of the eagle. But they don't even represent God, so they don't want to see the sequel. I was taught the ABCs and the one, two, threes. I was never taught the B-I, B-L-E. So I grabbed that, grabbed it, and I read it to the end. I was so deep in it that I spread it with my friends. It showed me how sick I was, it became my medicine. I heard the Lord knocking, I unlocked the door and let him in. I promise you the feeling was right. You should try marrying God so I can throw you some rice. That was the best thing I ever did. Was opened up my heart and let God in. Cause Satan not here lying to the people. He got some people lying to the people. My heart is crying out for the people. I pray they find God before the sequel. Cause Satan not here lying to the people. He got some people lying to the people. My heart is crying out for the people. I pray they find God before the sequel. My mission before to change your heart was nothing nice. I always wanted the cake. I couldn't just have a slice. I wanted the big whip. I couldn't keep riding bikes. I was looking for every chick. I wasn't looking for wife like a perm. I was burnt out. I was a bad tooth. God didn't pull me out. He just did a little root canal. He started with the heart. Now I'm set apart. I bring the light. You can have the dark. I'm a natural born sinner, but I choose not to walk in it. I choose to find a spot in God's glory. Parking it. That's the reason why I fall to my knees. That's the reason why I'm blessed like I sneeze. The reason why I shine, you thought it was gasoline. God's bringing the fire and sin is the gasoline. Boom, you should get right today. God's kingdom got more room. No matter how deep the cut, God can heal anyone. Cause Satan not here 
man lying to the people. He got some people lying to the people. My heart is crying out for the people. I pray they find God before the sequel. Cause Satan out here lying to the people. He got some people lying to the people. My heart is crying out for the people. I pray they find God before the sequel. Wow. Wow. Man, this is a blessing, man. Thank you. Thank Glad you. to have you here tonight, brother. Yes, sir. Man, the music is, there's just so much to it. There's so many tears, you know what I mean, to the, I'm just loving it, bro. What What you think? Uh, I want to know what the what the sequel is. Uh, you say you pray they find that before the sequel. The sequel is, um, is, is God, is Jesus' return. Okay. Know? So the sequel, you know, he he was already here. You know, when you got a movie and 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 the person like other, the Freddy movies, you know, the sequel, you know, when Freddy come back, that's the sequel. He's coming. Back. <laughs> He's coming so back. Jesus yeah. is coming back. So hopefully you get right before the sequel. <laughs> Amen. I love it. I love it. Okay, at this time, can you share with us your contact information? If uh, oh yeah, we got a caller. Hey, caller, you're live on his hot radio. Who this? <laughs> Who we talking to? Okay, we can hear the uh, we can hear the show in the background. Hello. Okay. Uh, you got to mute the show so we can hear your voice. Hey. How you doing? Yeah, all right. This is Michael Anderson Sr. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, Daddy. Hey. You, you didn't even have on. to introduce yourself. Like, I picked that out as soon as you said, hey. <laughs> How you doing, uh, uh, Mr. Okay, you, Mr. You, Mr. Senior? Yeah, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you well. Just calling in to shout out to my son. Yes. Yes. That's, that's dope. That's hey, dope. Daddy. He, he's enjoying your shout out because he's cheesing over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's gleaming up. He's showing all the uh, the gold right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, we just want, man. Go ahead. Yeah. We just want to say that we are proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate you for calling in. I'm cheesing. Yes, thank you, Daddy. Yeah, we uh, we proud of him too. We just met him. You go, you bringing tears to my eyes. <laughs> is, he, is he in Santa Clarita? Hey, let he, me. Ask. They're in Atlanta. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, the ATL. Let me uh, let me ask you a question, man. How is it like to have a, a man of God as your son? Well, for for me. I think you're breaking up a little bit. Hello? Well, you know, when I look at my son, I look at myself because he's been through a lot. I had to go through a lot. But the Bible says that you train a child in the way that she, that he or she should go and he will not depart from it. Fair praise. And so... I'm uh, just happy to be sitting here, and his mother's sitting here, and his sister's sitting here, and we all are cheesing and uh, smiling because no matter what, he did not let the enemy take him out and not from doing what God wanted him to do. Love you. Love you too, Mama. Now, I got a, I got a question, um, especially with Thanksgiving coming up. Uh, and you all being out there in Atlanta, Club His Hop is going to be coming to to Atlanta in March uh, to do a, a small tour. Um, now that we know somebody out there in Atlanta, 
Uh, I just want to know which one of y'all is bringing us something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Check him out. <laughs> I know y'all cook down there in Atlanta. <laughs> you know, I know that's what y'all do. So I, I need to know right now. I, I need a verbal commitment from you, sir. <laughs> Frank the Tank. Check him out, Frank. To know that, that we're going to get something to eat when we get down there. Well, look, we're not gonna we're gonna let you we're gonna let you come and get it. <laughs> I'm saying when we, when we get in town, we we're gonna swing by the house. Yeah, we're supposed to go by the sea room. I don't know if you guys uh, heard of that that venue. Listen, um, when whenever you come, all you gotta do is let us know. All right, and we'll make sure you get fed. Amen. Seafood. Amen. All right. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, sir, for calling in. Love you guys. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, brother. Share uh, with us your contact information if anybody wants to book you, follow you on social media, or download your music. Um, you can um, you can email if you want to book me. You can email revival the album, and that's D A, not T H E, but revival the album at gmail dot com. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, uh, Twitter, um, and Facebook at revival the album, or you can follow me, um, or you can get my YouTube page where I'll be putting up new videos. There's some videos up there now of of the album, and it's called revival the album. So revival the album. So everything is revival the album. So revival D A album. Amen. Amen. And I am gonna fully expect to be revived after I listen to. It. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's, this album is amazing. It's amazing, and, and it's like um, as I was writing the album, you know, there was a lot of tears as I was writing oh, the album wow. because I knew that God was doing something with me. He was, Amen. you know, uh, my music that I that I did before couldn't touch this. You know, oh, wow. like my lyrics that I'm saying on this album, I know it's from the Holy Spirit because it's just different. And it feels different. And I know. That when I turned to God and I had that relationship with God, He was just letting me know, look, I'm proud of you, and wow. and, and I wanna and I wanna prove myself to you. So with everything that you wanted to do, even though you're getting up there in age, you're getting older, I'ma let you do it. Yeah. You know, and so yeah. now I got an album out that's in 22 countries, and I'm 37 years old, and the album is hot. You know, Come on. and so Come I just on. thank God and I give Him all the praise. I don't take no credit for this. This is something I I couldn't do. You know, it's only wow. because of God and the Holy yeah. Spirit speaking through me. Amen. Amen. I can completely relate, bro. Praise God, man. Yeah. And God, he gives us the desires of our heart. And there's no retirement in the kingdom. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. You know, we, we're going to fight this fight until our last breath. Yes. So, so I don't care, you know, how old you are, what kind of gift you have. You got to get in the game. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got to get in the game, man. We got to do this. You know, there's lives at stake. And sometimes people uh, forget that. You know, yes, yes. I hear some artists, you know, they talk about they want to emphasize talent in, in your bars and and, you know, wordplay and and all this, and your metaphors and all that. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that. But don't let that be the goal. Let the goal be anointed. If you're up there and you have a basic flow, you know, but you're anointed. And, and the word of God is hitting hearts and convicting people. I'll support that person 100% than the person that's the next uh, M&M, mm -hmm. but, you know, they, they, ain't, they ain't right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And there's a fine line. And I understand there's the stigma in Christian hip-hop. They say that it's corny. They say that it's this and that and the other. And a lot of Christians are trying to break that. Hey, Amen. Break it. But. Don't compromise in the process. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. You yeah. know. You know, like like me, I can I can rap fast, I can tongue twist, so I can do all that stuff. But I would rather you hear what I got to say because this is this is God's music. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm man. not gonna get up there and preach and and say a bunch of stuff that you ain't you left and you ain't heard nothing. <laughs> <laughs> right, I mean, I'm just not right. going. I'm just not going to do that. So my album, it's going to be, it's 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 going to be dope. The words is going to be put together right, but you're going to hear every word that I say. Amen. You know, so that's that's the important thing is the lyrics. We were talking about that the other day too. I did want to send a quick shout out to uh, people that were watching uh, live on Facebook. Uh, Dexter Sneed, um, Dex. uh, Jennifer and Tyler Dunn, Marsha Ashraf. Um, who else? Albert Gomez, uh, Portia, 
uh, Portia from uh, from the uh, Praise and Worship team. Hey, here. what's up, Portia? Miss um, Miss Mar- oh, Marsha actually wants to wants to talk with you one of these days because she uh, she's a teacher here in Las Vegas and then you know she likes working with kids as well. So she definitely wants to um, get some information about Club His Hop. So cool, cool. Yeah. Let's talk. I'm definitely open. I'm definitely open. What's up to Instagram? You guys are starting to get a little active. My phone was dead. I charged it a little bit. You're a little behind, but I see y'all on Instagram. But Facebook Live is beating y'all tonight. So, <laughs> so y'all got to step it up a little bit tonight. <laughs> and I also want to say one thing, too. Um, I have a prayer line. I have a prayer line. It's called um, it's an app. And it's called My Prayer Line app. And it's, you know, it's for, it's for, I, I created it, you know, God gave it to me because a lot of people like myself was afraid to ask for prayer or to pray in front of people. Yeah. So when he gave me this Prayer Line app, um, it's for people that can go on there and they say, you know what, let me just type in my prayer request. And whoever has the app, they can just say, oh, well, Michael needs this. Let me, let me pray for him that God is going to do this. So imagine if you got 10,000 people. Uh, praying for your one need. Wow. Come God, on. God is going to move. The yeah. Bible says if three, or two or three come together in my name, I'm going to be there amongst them, right? Oh, wow. So, so this prayer line is called My Prayer Line, and prayer line is one word. It's on Android and iOS. Just type in My Prayer Line, prayer line, all one word, and you can download the app, and I'll be on there praying for people. So just type in your prayer request. When I see it, I'm going to click it, pray for you, let you know that I'm praying for you so you can see your numbers go up, and you can see that I got five, ten thousand 10,000 people praying for me or 100 people praying for me, whatever it is. Bro, that's that is that is so powerful in so many ways. You just don't know. Yes. That is that is so powerful, man. Um, one of the most powerful weapons we have is prayer. It's prayer. And the fact that you have an app, I wish I would have known that. And I'm definitely gonna get that app before mm-hmm. the night is over. It's on the back of his album, if he. It's on the back of the album cover. Okay. Album. Yeah. Okay. He just brought that in. Come on, my. We say that. Say the uh, the link again. My prayer line. It's available on Android and iOS. So. Whatever you got, if you got a phone, type in my prayer line, and prayer line is all one word. So my prayer line, it'll pop up. It should be the first, second app. It's a blue app, and um, it's the only one that say my prayer line, and, and, and put your prayer request in. There's people on there right now praying for people. You can do live Bible study. There's also a radio. Um, there's also a 24-hour radio that plays uh, Christian music all day. Come on. Um, you can read the Bible. You can do Bible plans on there. And you can post events if you got a concert coming up. You can post events there. So oh, it's a lot. Wow. And, then, uh, and then soon it, it has it's equipped to go live and all that stuff. But I gotta open up that feature as soon as more people get on there. But you'll be able to go live. It's gonna be a Facebook for Christians. Come on, without Come on. the negativity, because you Come know on. Facebook you can have a lot of negativity <laughs> on there. So yeah, it's yeah. gonna be a Facebook for 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 believers. Okay, we just talked about supporting our own, right? Supporting yeah. each other. This brother here is an entrepreneur. Yeah. And the world, years ago, people would say, if you have a business, but you don't have a website, you really don't have a business. Mm -hmm. But now, if you have a website, but you don't have an app, then you really don't have a business. You know what I mean? Or you really don't have a website. Yeah. And I like the fact that you are on the cutting edge of this. Because our ministry, we have an app too, and I understand how important it is. We develop apps too, and you gotta get that app out there. You gotta get people downloading it, and you gotta get people handling it, uh, getting familiar with it. So definitely, man, I want to help you push that app, and in, in. I want everybody who's listening right now go download that app because we have to practice what we preach. You gotta start supporting our own, y'all. I got an app. Appetite for food. Uh, I enjoy eating. Marsha Ashraf says, Huge congrats to the man of God that you are on with. Uh, he's a dope talent, plus, he's humble. Uh, and then he says, Cool. So, um, speaking of Marsha uh, and supporting our own, she is the writer uh, of a film that's going to be coming out called Professional Development Ibitar. Uh, now, Ibitar is, a, is an acronym, I-B-I-T-A-I-R, which is I'm black, I teach, and I rock. Uh, and, and it's going to be oh, comedy. Nice. It's going to be a comedy about teachers. Uh, so uh, once that comes out, we'll have more, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll have more information about it. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's something you all would, would uh, shout do, uh, out. Yeah, shout out to Marsha. If you need any yeah. more actors, you know I can't act. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that's, what we, that's what we're talking about. We're making connections, yeah. y'all. We got to connect. We got to unite. As the body. All right, so let's do it. All right, we got one more song in the queue. Uh, the phone lines are open. If you want, let me put the number up. 
If you want to call in, 702-879-4082. 702-879-4082. We got one more song we're going to play. And then we're going to uh, conclude the night. But I tell you, man, that, that I'm extremely blessed, man. This, 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 this show tonight was uh, ordained. You know what I mean? It was ordained, y'all. So, huh? Uh, dreams. I don't think that was sent over. Okay, dreams is good. It's good. Dreams is yeah. All, okay. all of is great. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm feeling great. it. I'm feeling it. Uh, yeah, we got dreams in the 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 queue. Uh, you gotta help me with this name featuring gifted. Oh, gifted. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was yeah. kind of hard to see from me. <laughs> all right, gifted. gifted. So tell us about this cut. Um, this, this, <laughs> know, this, huh? this song. This song is was inspired by. Um, you know my mother because she was always my biggest fan yeah. you know and and yeah. even when the songs wasn't good she was always there just pushing me on pushing me on pushing me on you know and and I love my mom and and you know and 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 the, and the dreams dreams don't have no deadline that's the whole title of the song dreams don't have no deadlines and it's like everything that I dreamed about uh, doing in the music business God said I'm gonna let you do it you know, right. even though I'm 37 years old, God said, I'm going to let you do it. So everything that I dreamed about, God has said, you, since you turned to me, I'm going to let you do it. Your dream ain't got no expiration date. Come on. You know, so I'm going to let you live your dream. Come on. You know, so this, this was inspired by God and my mother. Oh, there's, there's some oh. people that like that. They got a whole bunch of love going across the screen right now from that. That's dope. Yeah. Dopeness, y'all, for real. And I want to give a shout out to uh, Deborah. I call her Deborah. Deborah B, Deborah Brown, I believe. She's got a movement. She's um she's in her fifties. She shared her age with me. And she's in the gospel hip hop game and God gave her a vision. The stage has no age. Mm -mm, it don't. You know what I mean? It has no age. And and like you said, God is giving you like it's a, it was my dream to have a Christian hip hop club. Uh you know what I mean? And I'm not exactly twenty years old myself. But God is allowing me to live that dream and if, if, having people like you come, you know what I'm saying? So definitely give it over to God, y'all. And, you know, and, you know, and, and too, this, 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 uh, this song, Dreams, uh, my guy Jeff that makes all my shirts, his name is Jeff Piper, he had a shirt uh, titled Dreams Don't Have Deadlines. Oh, nice. And I, when I saw that, I said, man, that's going to be the title of the song because I was already writing a song about, yeah. you know, I'm like, I'm going to name that Dreams. So we changed the hook up a little bit so it, it fits the shirt. So thank you, Jeff Piper, for that, that inspiration. Shout out to Jeff. Thanks, brother. And call in after this song, 702-879-4082. Yes. I want to hear from somebody. Yes. All right. We got Dreams live here tonight on His Hot Radio. Michael Anderson, Jr. When I was rapping, even when my songs wasn't good, she was clapping. I knew what I wanted to be, so she encouraged me to be the best. With a thousand other rappers around, I was put to the test. I had a dream that I was made of Teflon. In my dreams, I was a superhero with a cape on. In my dreams, I had a million people bobbing as I'm rocking the show. And when I woke up, there wasn't a show. I fell right back to sleep and jumped back into dreams. I had money in the nice car in the mansion. It seems that I was doing good. But when I woke up again, I was 37 years old, still holding my pen. Like where did time go? It didn't wait for me I guess everything I wanted to be was over, I see So I gave it all to God and said I'd do it for him And he told me that it ain't over, you just starting, my friend What if I told you that you should Just fall along with your dreams What if I told you that God could Get you all of this Dreams don't have no deadlines Dreams don't have no deadlines no matter how big your dreams is, you can do it. Just ask God to walk you through your steps and pursue it. I know it's hard living in the world where it's jealousy and hatred. Negativity, they come your way. Give them the matrix. Let God see, see your plan. You got to trust in the Lord even if you don't understand. See, I ain't used to walk this way. I was a gangster. I ain't used to talk this way. And now I'm on my knees daily, growing one with the spirit. Me and God thicker than months, so nobody can stare. I'd be a fool to turn away from him. 
When he showed me who he was and who he always been I'ma walk in his will to the end Cause the end is a whole new start of a life with Christ with no end So what I'm trying to say, you can live your dreams Just make sure you do it for him What if I told you that you should just follow your dreams What if I told you that God could give you all of this Dreams don't have no deadlines 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 Man, you got some killer producers, man. I gotta say, wow, beats on. Man, you on you said, yeah, he said it earlier. The beats are on point. The lyrics, yeah, yeah. Uh, the messages. Man, man, this is a hot project, man. We're definitely gonna be putting this in heavy rotation on his hot radio. Yeah, yeah, Speaking of his hot radio, I want to remind y'all: download our app, also, right? You yeah. gotta support our own. Download that app, His Hot Radio, in your app store. As I share that, Tank, Frank the Tank, give us some final comments. We got, some, we got Johnny Jones saying, let God continue to use you. My brother God is good. Uh, we got this cutie pie watching named Kayla McIntosh. Uh, I think I met her once or twice. Um, uh, That's the missus, y'all. That's the yeah. missus. <laughs> we got uh, Marsha Afres uh, again saying she loves the show. Big hugs and continued blessings. Uh, shout out to Moms Anderson for allowing you to follow your dreams. Uh, hashtag dreams don't have no deadlines. Dopeness. Um, once again, December 9th, that's going to be the next uh, round of the His Hop uh, Big Break Talent Show. Please come out. Uh, I'll be hosting. Uh, I'll be acting a fool. Uh, we're going to have the judges. We're going to have uh, some great talent. Uh, it is always a fun family friendly environment we just have a blast out here we have contestants we have artists come in and actually perform so these contestants can kind of see what it's like to you know be on the next level um it, and it's always a blast you know everyone comes in having fun everybody comes in and when they leave like you know half the time they only want to leave because they yeah, had so yeah. much fun during the you know talent competitions um but yeah december 9th seven o'clock that's when we start Let's do it. Let's do it. Seven post meridian. And a quick shout out to Instagram. You guys are. Uh, I got some activity going on right now. Conscious, what's up, brother? How you doing? Conscious. Thank you guys for joining uh, His Hot Radio. We had a blessed, blessed night with my brother Michael um, Anderson Jr. here. Give us some final comments, brother. Uh, I just want to say to everybody listening, I love you guys. I thank you for the support, mom and daddy. My sister's out there in Atlanta, my nephew, uh, my family that's here, my wife and my children that's here. And um, I just want to say that I'll be, I'm doing a night of revival, December the 10th. It's going to be to where it's going to be an album release party, but I don't want to call it an album release party. So it's a night of revival where I'm going to be performing um, the revival album and bringing out some special guests. Um, so it's going to be um, in Canyon Country, in New Hall, actually, in New Hall at the Canyon Theater Actor Guild. And you can get all that information on my website, michaelandersonjr.com. And, um, and I'll be on the um, Kingdom Connection show. It's going to air uh, live December 10th as well. Oh, so nice. There's a lot of stuff coming nice. up. And December 10th oh, yeah. is my birthday as well so oh wow that's know. my sister's birthday yeah <laughs> hey, I, I, I don't have any relatives with that birthday but that's okay <laughs> <laughs> well happy birthday man Thank coming God, up I got, I got a mother-in-law <laughs> a little bit after that and I don't want to say the wrong date you don't want to say the wrong date I still got to go home and I want my wife to beat me up if I say the wrong date <laughs> so she, her birthday is about a week after yours <laughs> Cool, cool, man. I wish I could. Uh, now, where's that at? That's in your hometown? Yes, yeah, in New Hall. It's in New Hall at the Canyon Theater Actor Guild, and that's going to be uh, December 10th. And all that's on the website. Um, am I missing anything? Am I missing anything? He's, uh, he's trying to get a lifeline to his supporters. Yeah, my, like, my, my, <laughs> wife, my wife is giving me everything. Oh, yeah, and I just want to shout out. 
um, um, my 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 people that's that's been uh, financially supporting the album that's been helping me get the album um, Diane Thompson and Camilla Thompson um, they they've been there for me from day one um, make pushing me hard um, uh, Pastor Boykins ah, who else it's, it's just so much if I, if I forgot you guys I'm sorry it's just a lot um, but I love everybody everybody now your uh, your sister called in earlier. Mm -hmm. But she didn't. I told her to call back. She never called back. So she, she on live watching it. That's why. Oh, she's watching. Okay. Well, we want to give her a shout out. I know she wanted to get on here yeah, and give Maria. you some love. That's Maria. Maria. Okay. Maria, we shout you out. Uh, we appreciate y'all all the support you guys have shown. Uh, keep it up. I mean, we we can't do this without you. You can't, especially when you're trying to fulfill God's plan for your life, man. Mm -hmm. You know, to have the support because there's enough haters out there there's enough people that are going to try to discourage you there's enough people out there that's going to try to compete against you and knock you off course you oh, know what i'm saying call. oh we got a call uh -huh. is it re re yeah, that's, that's, that's 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 re re <laughs> hey caller you're alive on his hot radio who are we got a call back now <laughs> <laughs> we check up yeah we lost it let's see if i can get it back I hope I'm calling the right number. Hi, this is the sister. Hey, hey, sister. hey the sister. Hello. Is, is that your Hello. government name? Hello. <laughs> can, you hey. us? can you hear us? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Something's going on with this phone line. Hello. Hello. Hello, you've reached Club Inside. No, this is Maria. This is Michael's older sister, one of his biggest supporters. Yes. All yes. right, can you hear us? Can you hear me? Let me turn the music off. Hello? Maria? Hello? Okay. Well, what was that? The phone is a she. Something happened. Jones. All right. I rebuke the enemy. Call us back. But we know that you are his biggest supporter, so we appreciate second biggest. you. Second oh, biggest. Oh, second biggest. Second Ma mama's biggest. The mama's yeah, biggest. Mama's, okay. mama's biggest. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. My, my wife, she, she up there, too, in the rankings. Yeah. Come on. She's been supporting me for the last 10 years. There you go. Look, look. You got to stay persistent. Hello. You're on His Eye Radio. We're going to turn the music up this time. I just... Hello. 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 Hi, this is Maria again. Can you guys hear me? Yes. We can hear you, but it's like a delay. You got to turn your your um. Hi, what? this is Maria again. Can you all hear me? Yes, we can. We can hear you, but it's a delay. Like we can hear the show in the background. Did I push a mute button or something? No. Hello. 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 Hello? No, it's on. The mic is on. Hello? Yeah, it's a pretty big delay, so I'm going to make this short. Michael, I love you. Mom is here with you, and we say we love you, and we'll see you on December the 10th. Yes, night of revival. All right, I just wanted to re-verify that when we come to Atlanta, though, <laughs> <laughs> we, we still going to get some, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's Frank to take, y'all. Yeah, you got to love Mama be cooking, too. All and right. my sister, she make a killer macaroni and cheese. Man, that'll work. Okay, I don't know what happened with that call, but we got the message. Amen, amen. Amen. Okay, y'all. All right, so can you give us a drop for His Hob Radio? Before we get out of here tonight, y'all. This is Michael Anderson Jr. And I am on live with His Hop Radio. Make sure y'all download the His Hop Radio app. And make sure y'all follow God and walk in God's will. We out. Ma'am, that's what I'm talking about. All right. We out. We out. First take. First take, y'all. Right, I took about six takes. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, this is Frank. Oh, no, that ain't <laughs> One, three, two, one. Hey, this is Frank Zang. Uh, uh, three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll let you practice, and we'll get you here on a Sunday night when you're ready. Because I'm going to get a drop from you, too, All in right. the future. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, y'all. We'll, we're going to go ahead and... Um, sign off tonight but before we do I'm going to give my final comments tonight was an excellent show it was a blessing it was something that really encouraged my heart it's different uh, 
when you're out there plowing right in the field mm -hmm. sometimes your head is down uh, you don't know what's going on you don't know if you're making an impact you don't know who you're affecting all you know is that you're just trying to do what God calls you to do and to be able to rub elbows and rub shoulders with someone who's on the front lines with you mm -hmm. you know what I mean it can sharpen your sword and just get refreshed I do not take that lightly brother yes, just yes. keep doing man I see the light that's in you man keep going and just go we, we got to go harder yes. in the days we're living in because people are just going to the grocery store and not knowing if they're going to make it home alive nowadays you know what I'm saying yeah. you know what I mean you don't know when somebody's going to flip and start shooting up a crowd or run people over in their cars or something like that we need to be right with God y'all and, and I believe Jesus is soon to come back so we need y'all support pray for our ministry pray for my brother Mike pray for me pray for us Frank the Tank yeah pray for ministries like ours you know uh, we need your support continue to follow our show call in on other show you know other nights you know what I'm saying download both of our apps you know what I'm saying uh, whatever you can do goes a long way to help us stay in this fight but of course we're going to stay in it because we love Christ yes. you know what I'm saying because God called us to it so that was my final comment I want to remind you to come on out to our Sunday night services 6 p.m. every Sunday 3945 East Patrick Lane is the location come on out on the second Saturday of every month Frank the Tank our host of our big break talent search is going all the way up until March and the prize is a thousand dollars a thousand dollar prize y'all and plus you'll also get mentored and you're able to be a part of the his hop nation uh, if you want to do that we're looking for dancers actors uh, rappers singers if you have any type of talent comedians comedians you know what I'm saying jugglers come on down the second Saturday of every month you shout drama. out to my cousin Kanika for the vision for that event and we, we, there's a lot of other things that we're doing. So Might go to a, hishopnation.com. Double Dutch. To check it out. Exactly. Yeah. As we do it. And this is your boy D Roll from the His Hop Nation. Once again, we want to remind you it's not about us, it's about the Christ that is in us. I can have a double dutch. See y'all next event. All praise to the Most High God. Yes, sir.